Have you ever wondered what Warren Buffett is buying and if you knew what he was buying, you could potentially copy his trades? Well, there is a way. It's called the 13F SEC filings. This is going to be a step-by-step -step guide into how to actually find those 13F SEC filings and the pros and cons of actually using them in your trades or in your investments. Hi, this is Mosh. I'm an amateur trader and investor. A whopping 90% of you are unsubscribed. So please do me a favor and hit that subscribe because it really does help the channel. First things first, let's look at what the SEC 13F filing is. So if we go to investor.gov, it's a US government website. So large institutions have to file anything they've bought, any shares they bought in companies every quarter, which is worth over $100 million. So think about it, we call these whales. If they're making investments worth $100 million or more, they have to put it in the SEC 13F filings. And they have to do this every quarter by law if they are a US company. And lucky for you guys, I'm going to show you exactly how you can find that information. It is a little bit confusing, but I'm going to go through it step by step with you guys. First things first, you have to go on the sec.gov website and you have to search for Edgar. Edgar is the company filings. We can look at any company or any individuals that has bought shares worth more than $100 million within the last quarter. Once you're on the end, Edgar, and it says company filings, company or person lookup, let's look at Berkshire Hathaway. So you can see there's loads of Berkshire Hathaways. You can put the ticker symbol in as well. So make sure you're on the right one. So for this one, it's this one down here. Okay, so it loads up the information. So there's different filings, a lot of filings here. What you're particularly looking for is a 13F filing. Now, I'll be honest, the SEC does not make this an easy task for you. You have to know exactly where to look and exactly what you're looking for. And it took me a while to get around it as well. So you want to click view filings. And it loads you up with a list of so many filings. OK, what you're looking for is the 13F. It says quarterly report file filed by institutional managers holding. Now, if you click here, it's not going to work. It's just going to give you an overview and summary of what's going on. So what you need to do is where this little box is and it says open filings. You need to do that. As I said, the SEC does not make this easy for you. The next thing is you've got all these different tables of information. You want to in open up the second form, uh, which is information table of form 13F. If I open it up. That's going to give me an exact list of what Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett's company, have bought in the last quarter, which is worth over $100 million. Now, this helps in your investment because it shows you the overall trend. This gives you really vital information. So, for example, Berkshire Hathaway, you can see they've recently bought right at the top of the list, Activision Blizzard. If you heard recently in the news, Microsoft I wanted to acquire it for $68 billion, which is about $95 per share. And you can see Berkshire Hathaway, they bought four, just over 14 million shares of this company. So they're going to make a lot of money. And this was in the last quarter. And one interesting thing I found looking at Berkshire Hathaway, as I said, you can look at any investment fund you want, BlackRock, Vanguard, whatever it is. Um, you can see they're going back into a lot of cyclical stocks. So American Express, Apple, you can see they bought lo loads of Apple shares. And remember, each investment is worth more than $100 million. So it really shows you where the trend is. Bank of America Corporation. Another one is Coca-Cola. You can see that's a very defensive stock. Um, we can see here MasterCars. I'm going to quickly scroll around. T-Mobile, that's an interesting one. Um, so again, I think these are very defensive safe stocks. There, there's not many growth stocks on here that I can see that I bought in the last quarter. So you can use all this information to figure out what type of investments you are. Because if you're a heavily growth stock, you know that the large institutions are probably buying more cyclical or defensive stocks, uh, more value stocks instead of growth. So I would probably follow that trend. You always follow the trend. One key thing you need to be aware of is there's a lot of lag time in this. All this news is old because it's based on quarterly reports. So this is what happened last quarter for Berkshire Hathaway. One thing you can do is look at the price of the last three months, six months, whatever it may be, and figure out what the best price is to go in at if they've been buying large amounts of that particular company. So it allows you to get the best price possible. Another thing is if you're a trader, and especially if you're a long-term trader, you can see where the general trend is going what type of 
companies they're investing in, what sector they're investing in. I'm surprised to see a lot of banking stocks back in here, to be honest, um, which was quite surprising. I would have thought there'd be a lot more growth stocks around here. And you can also find those little hidden gems that you might not have heard of that could potentially be the next 10x, 100x company.